You guys are responding to a home residence where a 65 year old male uh, uh, found unresponsive by the family member. Okay. You may begin. PSI, seems safe? Seems safe. All right. How many patients do I have? Yeah, one patient. Uh, my NOI is unresponsive. Unresponsive. All right. uh, any hazards I need to consider as I come in? No, you're directed to the basement of the house uh, right. by the wife. All right. As I come in, do I notice any life threats? Uh, you walk inside, you see a man uh, okay. on the floor. Uh, minimally responsive. Okay, so impression of patients, an older gentleman laying on the floor, going to be unresponsive, right? All right? Come in, sir. Any response? Uh, he's not uh, talking to you. Okay, do I suspect any trauma? Uh, you don't believe so. Don't believe so, so I'm not going to consider C-spine. All right, so I'm going to have my partner here. Can, can you give me a set of vitals? All right, is my patient breathing right now? Uh, patient is breathing. He's breathing fast and shallow. All right, good pulses, right? Uh, pulse is present. It feels very slow. All right, about what is the rate of his breathing? Uh, uh, about 25. About 25 and shallow? Yeah. Does it appear like like I need to bag this patient. Uh, it looks like it's not adequate to sustain life. Okay, can uh, my airway guy, can I get somebody to come bag this patient for me? All right, so I'm looking at the chest, all right? How's his uh, chest rise? It's equal? It's equal on both sides, but it's very shallow. Do I notice any trauma to his chest? Uh, no trauma noted. I feel that on his chest. Anything? Uh, no trauma noted. Okay. Any JVD, tracheal deviation? Uh, no JVD. So we're going to try and open Does he accept? Uh, so go ahead, try it. I think I'm going to move the camera. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn him on his side, let's get the vomit out. You got it. On him and count. One, two, three. Alright, so get the vomit out. Suction, suction is good. Alright, uh, headbands count, let's roll him back, okay? On uh, headbands count, roll him back. Alright, let's get a blood pressure on him first before the three lead. Blood pressure and pulse, pulse ox. Let's start bagging the patient. Alright, start bagging him up. Alright, so listen in for blood sounds. Uh, you tell me what you hear? I hear clear lung sounds, right? Alright, lung sounds are clear. Lung sounds clear, all lung sounds are clear. So, CTC, color temperature, condition. He looks cool, pale, and diaphoretic. Alright, cat refill. Uh, cat refill is diminished. Alright, Tugger. Uh, Tugger, uh, we're going to say you should tempting. Hey, David, can you get right, a. I got the three patient? Got it. Alright, so. Now, let's look at his eyes. How's his eyes? Pupils. Uh, pupils are sluggish to respond. Sluggish to respond, but yeah. they're uh, they're reactive. They're reactive. Okay, so I got blood pressure going. We got three yeah. going. My yeah. other partner here is gonna go ahead and start an IV for us. Yeah. What do I get for his blood pressure? Uh, blood pressure comes back at 80 over 40. Uh, 80 over 50. What's the heart rate? Heart rate is what you're gonna see on the monitor. We're gonna say he's feels very. Okay. Can you turn the monitor on somebody? So he's 80 over 50. He's, yeah. so he's hypotensive. Yeah. Heart rate. And I'm waiting for that to come up. Alright, so check it for a pulse. Uh, pulse is present. Okay, so he hasn't come up on the monitor. Yeah. Alright, do we have everything hooked up correctly? So I'm just reassessing, making sure I have everything hooked up. All my leads are good, all my leads are on, correct? Yeah. So, Alright, so can I get a manual heart rate on this patient? Uh, manual heart rate is at 44. 44, so my patient is breathing correct. Is my patient? Any family around? Uh, there is, uh, uh, his wife is present. Okay, so while he's getting uh, IV access, I'm not in the patient, he's still breathing okay with the VDM. I'm going to ask him, like, what kind of medical problems is this yeah, he has? Yeah, he has a history of coronary artery disease, okay. hypertension, <laughs> yeah. uh, and he had a stent placed in 2003. Okay, so coronary artery disease, stent, and, hy and hypertension? Okay. Um, Patient take any medication for anything? Yeah, he is. He is in simvastatin. Yeah. He's taking uh, a medication. Okay. Um, um, a tenolol. Yep. And he's also have aspirin. Okay. Baby. Did he take his medication today? Yeah, he's very compliant. Okay. Did he take too much of his medication? Maybe? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, what was he doing before this started? Uh, you know what? I think he's usually works in the garage. He does some okay. housework. Can we get a blood sugar on this patient as well? Uh, okay, it's being obtained. Okay, did he, did he eat today? Uh, I don't know. Okay, and what did you say he was doing before this started? I think he was working in the garage. Okay, and you said my heart rate was 40. Yeah. It says, is that the correct? Oh, now it's changing. So... Your bubble heart rate is, is, is that. Okay, so I see that my patient's in an idioventricular rate. Is my patient responsive to pain? Uh, patient is uh, grimacing when you touch. Grimacing in pain. Alright, so let's get the pads on this patient. Alright, so pads on. Um, I'm gonna to wanna to pace this patient. I'm gonna call telemetry and let them know what I got. Can I repeat blood pressure on him? Uh, blood pressure repeats at 70 over 40. Okay, patient is 70 over 40. What's his age? Uh, 65. So 65 year old male. 
And what's the heart rate? Heart rate is 39. Right? So normal saline KBL? Yeah, normal saline KBL. Heart rate is 32. So we're going to pull. Yep. Oh, yeah, he is in a 30 degree. So, uh, I'm from, from this room. So, at this time, how old is my patient again? 65 years 65. old. I want to pull a telemetry. We got the pads on him. Yep. Uh, we are going to start pacing this patient. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to tell him to go ahead and start pacing. Uh, give 0.5 of atropine as well. So, I'm on the phone with telemetry now. Uh, you can go ahead and call. So, I'm going to let them know hey, I got a 65 year old male patient who's going to be in a third degree block. Okay. The patient is 70 over 40 with a heart rate of 32 right now. Yeah. Because I want to give him five of midazolam post pacing, we're gonna start pacing right now at this time as well. All right. So, so medical control tells you uh, what's his mental status right now. Uh, patient is responsive to pain only. Okay. And uh, what is his blood pressure? Blood pressure is 70 over 40 with a heart rate of 32. Uh, they tell you uh, uh, do not give any sedation now. Uh, you could go ahead and start your yep. pacing yep. and call us back if there's any change in okay. meditation. I was just calling to see if I can get five of midazolam if uh, patients uh, starts to wake up and uh, in consciousness. They, they, uh, inform they, they inform you that to make sure you resuscitate them sufficiently before you give any sedation. Okay, but do I have the orders for the five if he wakes uh, up? Uh, they, will t they say uh, call them back okay, when so you have uh, follow-up after okay. pacing. All right, so we'll call back after pacing, yeah. after, right? So pads are on, they're bagging the patient. How's his breathing going? Uh, uh, breathing, you see good chest rise with ventilation. Wait, do we have any capture capture yet? All right. So right now we're at 60 milliamps with no capture. All right, so he's working on that for us. 75. All right. So go ahead and bring that up to 80. You could quiet. You know how to uh, turn off the alarms. Make quiet. So we Check have electrical mode. capture at eighty. I'm checking for a radio. Do I have mechanical capture? Uh, I'm gonna say you, you cannot really feel it on the periphery. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a carotid. All right. Do I have a carotid pulse? Uh, we're gonna say yes, you do. All right. So my mechanical capture matches my electrical, yeah. correct? So at this time, I want to recirculate his blood pressure. Okay. Your your follow up blood pressure comes back at eighty four over. 56. Okay. And he's still being ventilated, yeah. is he regaining consciousness whatsoever? No, the patient is minimally responsive. All right, so if there's no improvement in the patient's blood pressure, I want to give him a 250 bolus of saline. Uh, so after the 250 bolus, do I notice any change in his blood pressure? Uh, uh, after the 250 bolus, uh, no change in the blood pressure. All right, so since my patient is still hypotensive, uh, I'm going to want to call and uh, I want to give this patient dopamine. Okay. Five micrograms per kilogram up to 10 to see if that will raise up his blood right. pressure and maybe he'll wake up for that. Mm -hmm. So, again, I want to get on the line with the doctor. All right. Let him know what's going on. All right. Uh, about how much does the patient weigh, you would say? Uh, we'll say 100 kg. 100 kilograms? Okay. All right. Do you know how to silence the monitor? So, yeah, we got the BGO. We got the BGO. Oh, what was it? Oh, you haven't. You, haven't you said, said it was in process. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 100 milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so the blood sugar is good, all right? So, heart rate sitting at 70, still uh, hypotensive. Patient weighs about 100 kilograms. Call the inflammatory doc. Yeah. So, am I in line with doc? Yeah. All right, so explain to him that. Uh, hey, this is whatever you know again. Calling back with the 65 year old male that was bradycardic. Yep. But the fact no patient is now actively being paced at a rate of 70. Yep. Blood pressure is still hypotensive. Yeah, uh, right. uh, right. right. 84 yeah, over, uh, let's say 60. I'm yep. uh, calling because of a cardiogenic shock. I want to start this patient off with dopamine, five micrograms per kilogram. Uh, the, the medical control says uh, oh, you're, you're pacing and you have capture. Just here, I got uh, mechanical as well as electrical capture. And uh, the doctor says, uh, how about you guys uh, give him? Uh, epinephrine, okay. uh, uh, push 10 mics so with one ml uh, for uh, improvement of vasoconstriction, right, okay. and you hold off on dopamine uh, because we don't want to uh, increase this rate too much. Okay. They also they also ask if you have uh, 12 lead uh, for this patient. Uh, we're gonna work on getting 12 lead now. Okay. So, okay. So we're gonna get 12 lead on this patient. Doctor, okay. I'm just gonna reconfirm with the doctor that he wants to push those epi. Yeah. Uh, he said 10. 10 micrograms 10 per one ml. Per, per ml. We're a total of 10 mLs, all right? So my partner there has got that going. He's going to confirm right patient, medication, time out, dose. Mm -hmm. And that goes in. After that goes in, we're going to recirculate his blood pressure. Okay, your uh, follow-up BP is 110 over so blood 70. Is good. We're going to get the stretcher ready yeah. and get a 12 lead on the patient. Your, your, your uh, 12 lead uh, comes up is ventricular pace rhythm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so at this point, we're going to just continue back him, get him on the stretcher, 
and get them over to the hospital. All right, you arrive at the facility and they ask for your report. So here we have a 65-year-old male patient was found to be hypotensive in a third degree block. Patient is now actively being pe uh, paced at a rate of 70 and given a uh, push dose epi at a rate of 10 micrograms uh, per ml. Uh, blood pressure has improved. He's at 110 over 70 and his heart rate is saying at 70 at a so and actively being ventilated. Okay. How do you guys feel about this case? A lot better than the last case. <laughs> a lot better? How do you feel? He performed as a team leader. Great. Great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.